Oh, hello guys, my name is Jack and today I'm gonna show you how to download uh, Equalizer EPO as well as the Peace add-on for it, hey? So basically what this is, is a cool little equalizer for your PC that has lots of functions so you can tweak your bass and treble and stuff for your headphones, hey? It's pretty cool and even for a basic guy like myself, it's got some useful day. And Peace is just the add-on that makes Equalizer APO not look like some kind of 90s hacking video, eh? Okay, so basically, let's begin with downloading both Equalizer APO and the Peace add-on for it. And the links for both of them will be in the description, eh? Okay, now that we've rebooted, we can go ahead and store the Peace add-on, eh? So let's go ahead and start this up. As you can see, it checks if Equalizer APO is installed. And in my case, it says it is indeed installed, eh? So that's pretty cool. Anyway, just make sure that this uh, this all checks out. Uh, by default, it should probably already have everything set up for you. And it says the correct installation directory, eh? So it's probably fine to just go ahead and press install. And yep, just say yes to that. And just in a second like that, or well, actually it was less than a second, it's installed, eh? So that's pretty cool. You can go ahead and start Peace. Now from here, you can go ahead and check out that Peace is installed, or it'll probably sh uh, show like a window first, asking you if you want a simplified or like a more complex version. So you can change the windows as you wish, but basically this is the more complex one, there's that nice on and off button. So congratulations, you have now successfully installed Equalizer APO in Peace. And if you want to mess with your equalizer, then just go ahead and click whatever preset. It will change it to that preset and you'll probably be able to hear the difference. And from here you can just adjust the gain for each of the frequencies. And then after you've adjusted it to a level that you want, you can go ahead and set, click save. And then you can type in whatever name you want. So Jack's new settings. This is probably like a terrible setting since I just played it at random. I just slid them around randomly and then after you click save, it'll save it to the configured settings down here. So that's pretty cool, eh? Uh, anyway, I don't know much about this, so what I'm about to say is probably wrong, but that's just what I've learned so far, eh? You can press the add slider and delete slider to add and delete the one on the rightmost side, or you can press add to add one, eh? So that'll add more frequencies. You can have more options to adjust, eh? And if you got like a set of pretty nice headphones or like a set of decent ones, there's this nice guide on Reddit that you can use to uh, get some custom settings, eh? For your headphones. So basically, I'll link this in the description and you can go check the list and go down here and find the headphones that you have. In my case, or let's do an example of the uh, Sennheiser HD 560 SA. So you just go down to the headphones you have. In my case, I'll try the HD560S as an example. And we'll open this up. Oh yeah, some pretty complicated graphs, eh? But I think the important part is down here, where it says filter settings. So basically, these are some nice optimized settings by this pretty cool dude or something. And what you want to do is you want to load the settings into here, eh? So basically, the column that says filter type would be this part here, eh? That says filter. And if it says peak, it's this blue one. If it says low shelf, it's this low shelf filter, eh? And that's that red one. You can change it to that. So I don't know if there's a quicker way of doing this, but lately I've been doing this all manually and it's kind of a chore, eh? So if there's a quicker way, I'll probably have to learn that. But anyway, for the manual method, it's pretty pretty obvious I think so for frequency it's just up here you type in the frequency in this case the first one is 53 Hertz and the next one is 105 Hertz and you'll be doing this for the rest of them like so or let's see there's about 10 bands here do I have 10 or oh, I don't know eh? we'll just count them after we finish or whatever if it's like 11 bands and the 10,000 Hertz frequency will probably end up here or here or something as for the gain, or just type it in, eh, for each one. And the quality, yep, that's the Q factor. Just type it in here, eh. And the BW, that's 
I think that's the same thing as the quality factor but for like a different application maybe. So you can probably ignore that if you have this version of PC. So anyway, after you've done all that manually, which is such a super duper chore, you can probably have some nice optimized head film settings, eh? But then again, it's not for everyone, and the sound you create will probably not be equal to the sound that you desire. So best case, or my recommendation, is to just play around with the sliders until you're happy, eh? That way you can have your very own custom settings and a cool new app that you can go ahead and learn how to use and you'll probably know it better than me, eh? Well anyway, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. My name has been Jack and I'll see you in the next video, eh? Or peace!